Microsoft just released Clarity Boost for Edge Canary, but is it worth it? Hey everyone, this is going to be a comparison with a slight difference because unfortunately Clarity Boost has introduced some strange issues with my recording. So not much gameplay is going to be able to be shown here as whenever I turn on this Clarity Boost it stops recording and I'm not sure why but you can see here on the left is the non-Clarity Boost and on the right is the Clarity Boost. This does just seem to be a sharpening filter, but whatever they're doing in the background seems to really mess up the recordings. So you saw there in Halo it makes a very subtle difference and it's really quite good. In Forza it's an absolute huge difference, it's massively noticeable and whether it's better or not I'm going to have to leave up to you. Again you can see on the left here versus the right the difference between the Clarity Boost version. So Clarity Boost is enabled on the right and not on the left. So in some of these instances it does look a lot better on a smaller screen i think it will make a bigger difference so on a big screen a lot of the time it just looks really over the top like the sharpening filter is a bit too much but as you can see here as soon as i turn on clarity boost my picture just freezes on the recording so it plays fine in the browser and it just seems to be the first 10 seconds or so it seems to actually capture it again with the clarity boost version on the right and then for some reason the recording just stops on the picture. So you'll have to have a look back at the images here and let us know whether you think Clarity Boost is worth it. Certainly on the PC it does look over the top on Forza Horizon 5 a lot of the time, but on Halo it did look quite nice. However when there's pixelation effects it does look absolutely horrendous when the Clarity Boost is enabled. So I'm sorry I can't show you a bit more footage for Clarity Boost enabled on this one. I'm going to continue to look at what's going on with the recordings and see if this is just a issue with the Canary build. This is a beta, you can download the Microsoft Edge Canary version and give this a try yourself. And this should be rolling out to the main Edge versions once they've figured out some of these issues. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all things cloud gaming, and we will see you next time.